Okay, guys, I officially became a Pouthouse member. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, that was Brian Griffin, if you guys don't know who that is. Shame on you. So, anyways, <laughs> I became a Pouthouse member, and uh, today we are just going to take a look at my new toy. Stay with us. Okay. Welcome, you guys. Want to say hello and thank you guys for stopping by. My name is Mike, and this is West Coast Survival and Tactical. So today we are going to be opening up my little my little boxy friend here today, and uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you kind of can tell where I got this uh, this handy dandy thing from. And uh, yeah, I wanted to tell you right now that I became a member of the Pout House. Uh, pretty easy to do. Paid my little dues and. Now, hopefully, I can uh, become a full-fledged blood member uh, with these guys, and we're gonna we're gonna do all kinds of fun stuff, right? No, just joking. But it would be cool. I guess that would be cool if we did some fun stuff. But they're a lot of a lot of a lot of states away from me, so you know I'm over here in the West Coast. I guess we don't have any really cool guys over here in the West Coast, except for me. I'm just joking. So, anyways, let's take a look at it. Okay, so in here today. Let me just yank out my little surprises. Uh huh. Here we go. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. And there it is. Oh, look at that. And there it is. What do you guys think about that? I'll move the sheath over. That little JRE. But there we go. Want to make sure you guys see it. And we have this one in the uh, black canvas micarta. And with the red liners. And I decided to get the convex grind here in the CPM 3V. Okay. Okay, my friends. Let's go, guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about this blade. Here, I'll bring out... I'll bring out its little little partner in crime. Right? So let's get some specs out on this thing uh, before we before I start rambling on. Because you know me, I'm just going to ramble on with this video. Now I'm going to make this kind of fast too, but this one's kind of exciting. So this right here, this is the old flagship from LT Wright. And uh, I wanted to get this one, obviously, because I got the uh, Bushcrafter, the HC Bushcrafters, and I fell in love with those. I'll show you those a little bit later. And this one is in the, um, this is their Gen Genesis. Now, you know, I went through a couple of their stills that they went through. Uh, I think they have it in A2 A and uh, the AABL, which I really like the AABL. Don't get me wrong. Because I found out through Bark River that you actually can get a little bit of surface rust on CPM 3V. But uh, I went in with the convex on this one, the flat convex, and I was, I was, I, there were specific reasons why I did it. Um, but I, I really wanted to get a hold of this broomstick handle, right? So this is their, this is one of their main blades that they had. This is their flagship blade. Uh, they put a lot of blades after this uh, because of this one. So the overall length on this one is nine, uh, 9.02 inches. You got a blade, that's, uh, that's the overall right there. Now your blade length is 4.26 inches. Uh, this is a spear point, right? A little bit of a kef art kind of design if you kind of take a look at it, right? There's a broomstick handles. Okay, I uh, wanted you to take a look at the blade thickness. I'll see if we can see that right there. So your blade thickness that you're coming in on is going to be somewhere closer to 0.112 inches or 2.82 millimeters. Um and obviously it's going to get thinner as it goes down. That's part of that convex. And so you can see the convex start spreading right there. Okay. Then you got your bolts sitting back here, lanyard at the back. So right off the gate, let's do that squeeze test there. Right off that gate, I'm going to get that JRE sheet out of the way. Let me see here. The handle thickness on this is... 0.970 inches and it, it feels good the weight on this thing is 8.18 ounces that's pretty good um so look here what do i think about this here's there's your thumb scallops right there let me see how those feel 
Uh, okay, it feels good. Okay, I see why. I see how this is. This is just yeah. This is this is just great feeling blade. Good in the hands. Really good in the hands. So, you know, I was I, I wanted to get the flat granite. I'm I'm starting to see something here. Well, let me see something. Oh yeah, there you go. That 90 degree spine. That that thing's ripping. Okay. So I, I wanted to get this blade because I was competing it with this one right here, obviously. So you guys, first off, I'm going to bring this up here, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this one because I wet formed this thing uh, and I'm in the middle of wet forming it, but I, I got this thing inside. Here's my sheet, the fire steel. Uh, finally decided to change the band on this thing. So we went into more of a tension band instead of the old jimpy rubber band. Rubber band fits in there perfectly but i just wanted you guys to see and easy to wet form this 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 sheet so i'm going to do the same thing to the one that this one came in but uh wanted to bring this one in here because of the handle thickness now this is the 332nd now this this is the slicer of the sliciest of the slices right and let me see if i could get these in here together so you guys can see that okay can you see the difference a humongous difference right so this blade right here um oh my god and i thought that i was going to have a little bit of the same feel this one's thicker obviously this one you know the funny thing about this one is on the hc on the on the bushcrafter kind of even though it's really got a good roundness to it you can kind of see a little bit of a squareness in that handle right there this one, this one here, I'm sorry, doesn't. This one truly feels completely round. So you, you grab it in every one of the grips and uh, it feels really, really good. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. That's a really tough one right now. Uh, which handle I like better. Maybe what I need to do is get the Bushcrafter in a, uh, the CPM 3V get the bigger, the bigger blade on this, the thick, bigger thickness on the blade because they, this is very one of a kindness on this, on the thinness. You can only find this on the, I believe on the GNS AEBL and this that 332nd. I've been trying to find it, and I'm talking about more of their of their bush crafting knives. I'm not talking about like their camp mugs or anything like that because I won't use those blades. I do apologize. Sorry, um, but let's just get back on this one. So really, really good blade so far. I mean, I, you know, I mean, it's, um, it's going right up there. I'm, I'm having this LT right bark river, uh, you know, uh, okay. Corral draw with these guys. These guys are like going at it. I don't know which one I'm, I'm favoring. I, if I wanted to, basically I'm going to probably carry both, you know, to be quite honest with you, because there's so much to, you know, I think you lean a little bit more towards bush craftiness when you deal with LT Wright, and a little bit more tactical when you deal with Bark River. In my opinion, I see more like my Cub is more of a fighting style knife in in essence, but can handle everything else. Bush craftiness, in my opinion, it just just looks that way but the handles are so gorgeous and beautifully contoured this is so different yet it's so pure as far as the handle right it's it's so basic it's something that they've they have um always done uh, once again they're offering the same jre sheath we're going to wet form this one again a little bit bigger than the bush crafter um just so you guys know you have the dangler option right inside of here um, and you know, obviously it's, you have to form it, uh, it's not formed right now. It will take time to do so. But now, I mean, I have a collection of these and, uh, you got, like I said, we got the GNS, we got this as well. Uh, we'll put this one in some wood a little bit later. I do wanted to, I, I, before I get out too deep into this, this was just more, I just wanted to just an unboxing just to show this blade. Um, I do want to uh, let you guys know that uh, that we that with these blades that I, I'm I'm definitely going to um, 
I'm definitely going to, you know, you know, we did a use on this one. I'll do a use on that one. I'll do a use on the GNS as well. I'm going to get a competitiveness, a, a competitive against uh, each of them to find out which one I, I think is the best as far as, um, you know, I mean, that's kind of hard because it's going to be preference for everyone. It's going to be my preference of what I feel is going to be the best for what I want to use these blades for. Uh, right now, this one has not come off of my hip. I'm telling you, I'm, look at I've even took off some of the patina that was on there. I've used this every day. I find every excuse to use this. Uh, this one just feels so good inside of the hand. It's a big knife. Does it looks like it's gonna, it's very sturdy. It just looks like it's going to be able to handle everything that uh, that needs to be done as far as uh, my blades are concerned. So I'm I'm through rambling. I just wanted to open this up, let you guys know. Um, I do have a two, uh, this week we are going to be doing, uh, two, uh, flashlight reviews. Uh, I also, um, am going to put the, the cub to use out there and we're going to take a look at that. So just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by and enjoying my little ramblings again, once, once, once again on these, uh, on these blades, uh, I'll to write is absolutely outstanding very happy that i become a member of the pout house if you guys don't know what the pout house is uh it's just uh, basically it's a membership uh where you can buy sell trade with other guys and other ladies that love uh lt right knives uh it's an initial uh, uh it's initial cost to get into it um but you're also going to be offered stuff that isn't normally offered to the general public uh, you're going to be given opportunities to see what's coming newer. There's a lot of little things that you can do uh, and get by becoming a Pout House member. Uh, and it's pretty simple to do. All you got to do is go to ltwritenice.com and uh, it'll you can kind of see where to go in there. If not, just Pout House, P-O-U-T uh, space H-O-U-S-E on uh, Google and, and it'll get you there. Um, LT Wright, uh, they, they've actually even... Um, uh, when we did a review on this one, uh, they uh, reached out to us, and uh, I appreciate their comments. So, wanted to tell you guys, thank you for stopping by. I'm very appreciative of your uh, of of us growing uh, um, of the channel. Um, if you guys can, please do me a favor, like, make sure you hit the like and subscribe, share button at the bottom of the of the page. Do a, a, a bottom of the video, excuse me. I do appreciate you guys stopping by. And from everyone over here at West Coast Survival and Tactical, my name is Mike, and just make sure that you guys stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Take it easy. Have a good one. And see you when I see you.